Well, hello everybody. Uh, I am Sergio, or Flagman. He is Carlos or Richard. Uh, we work at True Secure, as you can see here. Whoa, shit. <laughs> well, as you should know, we are here to present Scylla. Scylla is a tool we made uh, like a couple of years ago. Everything starts like back in 2010. You don't, I don't know if you remember what's Hydra, the brute force tool. Well, back in 2010, it doesn't work for Windows. So it was like a pain on, and they asked like to compile it and to make it work. And I got like a lot of friends that uh, were all day begging me to help them to compile it and to make it work there. Um, well, and I gotta confess, the first version of Scylla was just a copy from, from Hydra. I just took the C++ code and translated it to C Sharp. Um, well, then, I got to hack like some Oracle database. So I try, I used in that day like a O scanner. Yeah, and it didn't work with Oracle 11G. I don't know and I didn't even try to, to know what, uh, why. So I started coding. Just coding uh, stuff, something uh, like to do the same stuff that O scanner using the, the Scylla score. Uh, so if you see later, uh, you will see that the Oracle model is just like the same as OS scanner, but I got the idea like to make the same with a lot of protocols. Mm. Wow, it isn't. Wait a minute. Uh, well, okay, let's contextualize this a bit. Uh, when you try to hack something, uh, well, I try to first see what services does the server offers, then try to find some vulnerabilities, and if there is like something to exploit, I'll exploit it. If not, you gotta try to like use a lot of tools and a lot of stuff, and then, I don't know, try to uh, maintain access using some bug or something. Uh, here we can see like the normal hacking flows of an ethical hacking flow at the top and down like a normal hacking flow. I don't think you should use like Nessus or something when you are real hack really hacking something. Uh, well, what's that? Use a lot of stuff. You gotta search in Google a lot of, tool, of tools. Most of security consultants just take out their arsenal. Uh, other people like try to Google for something that works, and I think most of us will try to code something if we can find any tool, tool or, or something. And that's what Scylla uh, came, like to try to saving us some time, like finding stuff and, I don't know. Well, Scylla works in three basic stages. First, preprocessing. It's like stuff you can make without having a, a real password. Mm. This is like getting uh, database names, uh, password policies to tune up the brute force, uh, like to make the, all the attack a little bit more intelligent. Then the brute force, uh, and after that, when you got a new user and password, you can make like a, what I call post, a post processing. It's more like a expanding influence or some uh, stuff that you can do with a password. Uh, what we offer, and here Agun told me that it was like bad spelled offers, is what we offer. Well, Scylla, offers, Scylla tries to be uh, like complete, and it would be even more complete each day. It's reliable, if there is something that you can do there, uh, Scylla would do it, and it's fast, in some models it's really, really fast. Uh, if you can try with DB2, it makes like it tries like uh, 500 passwords per second. Um, there's a useful future that it's it's like hacker oriented. Yeah, here you won't you won't get information like to present to a manager or something, but you'll get information that would help you to make uh, further attacks. And it got also a really nice report interface where you can have all the result, all the results like centralized. 
uh, it also has uh, anti-NT brute force models. As I told you, you got like information to tune up your attack. Also, it like process the error messages to like try to see if the user is blocked, so skip it and stuff like that. Uh, it integrates with other tools. Uh, you can use like FG dump to dump password hashes from Windows servers. Uh, Nmap to try to see what, which services are, are on the server. Uh, there's a lot of stuff here. Uh, also, it got a cool dictionary generator where you can like uh, load a list and make like permutations with those passwords you already got to make like more complex passwords. Um, until now, it have just support for 14 protocols. Well, I think it's a lot, but we're trying to do even more each day. We also have a sharp business proxy tool. That it's for the attacks when you don't have access to the last machine directly. You don't have connection to the last machine. You have one machine in between. You put in there, start to attack, and here's a bouncer on a proxy protocol. Uh, well, I'll, in this tool, we have a lot of protocols. One of them is SSH2. It was a big pain in the ass to code, build from the scratch version for this implementation. It's very fast. Uh, at least uh, 40 tries per second in the worst scenario. And we have a demonstration. Well, <laughs> well it really, it really does a lot of, of stuff more. I hope you can see this tool working. The source code is uh, open. It's open source. You can download it from, you can download it from here, code.google.com slash p slash sila v1. Uh, it's a pain in the ass to compile, so I got like instructions and all that. I don't, just don't release the binaries for basically two reasons. Uh, first of all, I don't want like to everyone use this tool, just the people that know how to compile something and would know how to use this tool. And second, because of the dependencies. <laughs> I really don't try to make uh, this work with all the dependencies it, it has. You, you need like the Oracle connector and DB2 connector and stuff like that. Well, so here's the, present the demonstration. This is the front panel, this is the session manager, where you can pick up the session with your preference on the result that you uh, have for another attack, so last attacks or other attacks, just a couple of scenarios. You select, and we start here. Well, our domain is still a window. You can view a host, that is our virtual machine, for the presentation. You got uh, AdWords uh, in here, and they have three options. The main and basic option is the password. When you test one password, a word list for a list that you have in a way. We just pick a file. Uh, I'm going to try this one. Uh, SQL this, where we are prepared, and pick a protocol. And as you can see, and in this mode, you have uh, automatic added users that are the administration users for the protocol. In this case, we have just pick one, a open user interface for command execution. Uh, there are a, a lot of cool options in each protocol. In this mode, you have a one-click owners a option. You gotta start and doesn't work. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, so let me ask you. Yeah. Yeah. Doesn't work. So, did it? Ah, uh, just a real problem over here. Yeah. 
we start with pick password and you are right there. Well, as you can see, we use SQL Server to execute commands over the over the server. Uh, first, we try like to make brute force and stuff like that, and then you'll see a really nice GUI where you can uh, execute commands. Uh, I can wait here. Well, uh, there's another model that we like to show that is a uh, SQL Server. First, we'll show you uh, like how to make lists. You can add here as much lists as, as you want to make like more complex stuff. You pick your model. And as you can see, you've got a lot of options here like, like to get information of the, of the remote server. Also the integration with FGDump. And uh, well, the default users. And it's a bit fast, I think. And let's wait till it finds the user, the password. Yeah, we got a password and it's giving us a lot of information. Then it, it comes FG dump, don't like the hashes. Uh, and then you could see it here. This is a report model where you got like all information from the users you have and stuff like that. And here you can see the password. Uh, the net bios shares password policies this is used to make like the brute force stack so uh, if we've got like a, a maximum length or minimum length uh, we won't try passwords that are uh, less than that length uh, we've got the services uh, network adapters sessions well a lot of stuff and here is the SQL server report the user with its password, hashes of all users, databases, uh, the command history. Well, I also want to show you something here. Uh, after you, like, hack something. Let's stop this. After you hack the database, you got like here uh, something to browse it. It's really useful. Sometimes you got like the password of a DB2 database or something, and you don't have like a, a browser to view the uh, the database. Uh, here, there is also a very cool option that is like to find uh, the uh, like to find words from the table names and the column names. Yeah, you could. It's something that I, that I always do is like to search for the users or passwords that, that are in the, in the database for other services. So this would help you like to search that. And you got here like table names that got login that got login in there or the column names that got like those those uh, words that you add. Um, well, there, here's the. Uh, Nmap integration. You can load a, a previously scanned uh, host or something, and it would like filter all the all the models here, the protocols you can hack, and it would like try to help you a bit. Uh, what else? Let's say the for terminal SSH. This one is very fast. It was like a built from scratch uh, SSH server. SSH clean, sorry. So you can make like a really fast attack. This was too small. As you can see, it doesn't like 48 twice per second or more. So this is like the fastest uh, brute force tool for SSH. 
uh, there are like, like a lot of fancy stuff and things uh, that you can try here. Uh, I'll give you again the URL for you to, know, to download it. Here it is. Well, there are a lot of options or um, things you can try. I hope you like the, this tool. Hope you enjoy it. Uh, sorry if the presentation was too short. <laughs> and that's all. If you've got any questions, you can, I don't know, buy me a beer or something. Or if you want the, the, the tool or for me to help you to compile it or something, you just, I'll be right here. Well, thank you. <laughs>